Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple heads or tails game using Java. I'll be using the copad.site to do this. Copad is an awesome online coding platform that's free to use and allows you to create and option to share your projects with others. I'm already logged in and so what I'll do is click on start coding and I will type in heads or tails and make sure you choose Java as your programming language. Click the create button and then it will take you to our coding editor. So as you can see it starts off by calling it main.java. I like to rename this file so that we call this heads or tails.java. And then I'm going to do the same thing for my class since that's required in Java. And you can see that it gives me a simple template to begin with. So what this game will do is this. You'll guess whether you think it's going to be heads or tails and then it'll tell you if it's correct or not. And it'll do this over and over again. So what you need to begin with is we're going to use two classes. One is the scanner class to get the input from, from the user and the other one is a random class to pick a random number. Therefore, I am going to import Java Util Scanner and I'm also going to import Java Util Random. As I mentioned, we're going to do this in an infinite loop. So I'm going to do while true so the game will keep playing over and over again. So what it needs to do first is I'm going to have the computer choose either heads or tails. And the way I'm going to simulate that is I'm going to have it pick a random number between 0 and 1. And I'm just going to assign 0 to be heads, 1 is tails. So actually before I do that, I'm going to need to create the two objects that I need to do this. So I'm going to create a scanner called SCN, new scanner, and system.in. So system.in will get the input from the keyboard. Then I'm going to do random rnd equals new random. And this is my random object that will be able to then generate random numbers. So I'm going to define the sort of the answer, which would be what the computer guesses. And based on the random number I'm going to generate, it will either assign it to heads or tails. So I'm going to say if random or rnd next int 2, and the reason I'm using 2 is because that actually is how it generates a random number, either 0 or 1. Right? It's always 1 less than the value you give it, and it always starts at 0. And so if random next in 2 equals 0, I'm going to assign the answer to be heads. Otherwise, I'm going to say the answer is tails. So now I know what the answer is, and I'm going to ask the user to guess. So I'm going to say system out print instead of print line so it stays in the same line and I'm going to say guess heads or tails. Then I'm going to ask for the guess. So I'm going to say string guess equals scn next line. Okay, so the user is going to be able to enter something, hit the enter key, and then I'm going to compare whether they got the answer correct or not. So I'm going to say if guess equals answer. And remember, when you're comparing strings, use the equals method, not the double equals, because we want to make sure that the content of the string is equal. So if guess equals answer, then I'm going to print out system out print line right on. Okay. Um, Otherwise, if you didn't guess it correct, so if you didn't even enter heads or tails correctly, it will also be considered wrong. Okay, so I'm going to say system out print line, and I'm actually going to tell you what the answer was. I'm going to say it was, and I'm going to say answer, try again. And finally, after that, I'm going to add an extra line here, extra empty line, so it looks a little bit cleaner. Okay. Now that I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and run the program. And it looks like I didn't make any mistakes, so we'll take a guess here. So I'm going to say heads. And oh, wow, I got it correct. I'm going to say tails. It says it was heads. Try again. I'll say heads. This is right on. 
Um, let's try heads again. And wow, I'm going to keep going heads until I get it wrong. Uh, three in a row. I'm, I'm on a roll here. Okay, it was tails. Try again. Okay, so there you have it. Um, pretty simple to create a program here. Um, if you realize, uh, many online platforms don't handle scanner properly, the, the input. So you can see that it works really cleanly in Copeta's site. Um, if you like this video, please make sure uh, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.